Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. That's Jay Lee's Corner. This is a review, okay? Let's just get it started. You already know to like my channel. No, 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 no. Subscribe to my channel to become a whole Jay Bird. Jay Bird. Dun, 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 dun. And all that goodness. It's like 2 30 in the morning. Um, you know, like, comment, share, you know, all that goodness. Um, follow me on IG and our Twitter. IG and or Twitter. The name is on the screen. J underscore Lee's underscore corner. Y'all already know. Okay, let's get to this review. So we see Grace. Grace keeps calling Sophia. You know, she keeps calling Sophia because she's looking for AJ. But Sophia, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talked to him. He ain't called me, whatever. I have not heard from mama. I have not heard from him, mama. Okay? But if he contacts me, I'll contact you. Okay? Because, um, you know, because Grace is work. She has, she has not heard from whatever. And so they hang up the phone. But we then see that AJ is where he's there with Sophia. That's who he went to when he left Grace and him or whatever. And she's like, you know what? You can go home, AJ. You know, Mom will help you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're innocent. She can help you. He's like, she can't help me. You know what I'm saying? She can't help me. Mainly because we know he's lying about it, okay? And so she kind of presses the itch. Like, you know, you really need to go home and let her help you know it does not matter you know he then says you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if i'm guilty if i'm innocent or whatever they will always look at me like i've done something they have a space on the shelf for me i mean if you rob in be uh pharmacies they will you can't do dumb things and then say it don't matter if i did it or not cause like, stop doing dumb things aj is what i would tell him but you know sophia keeps like you know mama can fix it she can really fix this and help you, whatever, he don't want to listen, or whatever, you know, you was some girl, you think everything's so easy, you know what I'm saying, because you're just a pretty young thing or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you have not had to suffer through anything in your life, I'm like, she's suffering a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a whole medical condition, but you don't know that because you're a little sister, but anyway, he gets mad or whatever, and you know, she's like, you know, you've really been a jerk, you've really, really been a jerk, he's like, I know I'm trying to be. Now I'm going to go get some cigarettes. You want some? No. She just now. So she lets him leave or whatever. So even though we see AJ as being a full-fledged asshole, you know, she feel like, you know what, I'm going to not let him um, leave here without me helping him. So she goes to put some cash in his bag. So she's hiding money in his bag so that he'll have some money because, you know, he ain't got nothing. And when she's looking in a full space to hide the envelope of money in his bag, she finds the pills, okay? A whole bag full of prescription pills, meaning, oh, he did it, okay? And so she's like, well, damn it, ma'am. And I'm like, well, then things, things happen from there. So we do see Charity. Charity at home hallucinating, okay? Charity at home in the mirror preaching as if she's going to ever be a pastor. I'm like, she really be hallucinating. She really, Charity really believes that she's the better pick. Of all, the, Grace is not perfect. She's not perfect by any means. Neither is Jacob. However, Grace still has a bit more couth about her, where Charity is low down, rotten scandal of a sister, okay? And she preaching about how the devil has his ways and evilness can get into, can get into people or whatever. And she then says how Satan has Gigi, okay? But she's not gonna judge Gigi at all. Girl, somebody get, somebody get Charity's pills. Get Charity's crazy pills, please. Thank you. Anyway, we then see that Bishop calls for, you know, Charity, Jacob, and Grace to come talk to him in one of the rooms, okay? Now, the whole time they in there, Jacob is sending the whole bunch of snide remarks, Charity's way, okay? But he ain't sitting in front of anybody. I saw you kissing that man at church, okay? And he just don't say much. Like, mm-hmm, you know about secrets, wouldn't you, Charity? What is, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm like, boy, just say it. Just say it, Jacob. Damn it now, okay? Anyway, you know, uh, Charity, because they were talking about Phil and what he got planned or whatever. You know, they all against Phil. You, we, we should not be plotting against another black man. You know, he's not that bad. Oh, really, Charity? That's, that's what you think, huh, Charity? Jacob, no, you said it because you in that man's mouth, okay? Kiss them all in his mouth. But, what, Jacob, you just said because you got yourself fired from me. You know, he didn't fire you. You got yourself fired. You know what I'm saying? Nobody told you be out here fighting through. Charity, that's your brother. That ain't what you do. But, you know, we know the Charity. Forget you, Charity. Forget you. But, bitch, look, I don't care. Look, 
Look, look, look, look, look. Okay, look. I want to propose to your mama. Okay. Now, the whole time he said it to the kids, May is out at the door. And she hears him saying that he wants to propose today. Oh, you're going to propose to me? Oh, my God. Oh, my Jesus. Okay. And so, she he asked the kids to come up with a song. A song that, that can be played or sang to get May in the I will accept your proposal mood. Okay. And that's why he called them all there. He needed it done by tonight because he's proposing tonight. So, May leave off whatever because she's happy to hear he wants to propose, and she leaves to go find a pretty little outfit to put on. Now, you know, across over that other way, you know, Carissa. Carissa is at that green, the Greenleaf house, and she's trying to avoid text from her new lover. Okay, he just keeps texting her things. That's what happens when she coach you with a stranger. Okay. Anyway, so then the maid comes in, whose name I can't remember right now, but the maid comes in and she said, like, you know, she got a little Polaroid camera. She's like, what is you doing? Oh, you know, May told the maid to come to the suite of they suite and take pictures of everything in there because she's going to be getting some insurance on things and she needs to make sure what's in there. So she needs to take pictures of everything. She, I need to catalog everything in here, meaning when y'all move, don't take my stuff. I have pictures, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, fine, whatever. So then we find out May. May is in her room, you know, trying on clothes and picking on what she wants to look pretty when he proposes to her today. Now, she then gets a phone call from Corinne from the church. And Corinne, I know you want to let me let you, want me to let you know when things, you know, change around here. You know, there is a proposal, okay, at the meeting tonight. They want to rename that, that the trust, was it the trust fund or the scholarship fund, whatever that fund is that May was using to help them young girls. They want to rename it. They want to take May name off. Somebody put up a, propo- a proposal to remove May name. And May like, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks, Corinne. And she, so she's just not happy. So she goes down to the church and she talks to the lady who she talked to before. I don't know who this lady is, okay? But it's the lady who told her, everybody think you knew. And that's why we don't want you in a church, okay? So it's that lady. Now, she's like, so who was it that put this proposal for me or my name to be removed from the, 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 the fund? No, I ain't a fundraiser. What is it called? I'm going to say the trust fund. I know what maybe it's called. We're going to call it a trust fund. Scholarship. Scholarship, we're going to call it. It was, what was it? Uh, uh, Connie? Had to be Connie. She's like, no. It was uh, Vera. Verna, some would have V, okay? It's the it's the girl who Mac had been, he been you know, who, who he had been uh, attacking, you know what I'm saying, all that time, you know, repeatedly, you know, taking her, okay? So it was her because she wants to just move on from it. She just doesn't want to be reminded of it. You know, just based on what the name was called or whatever. She's like, so if you have an issue with your name being removed, go talk to her because that's who has the issue, a victim of your brothers. I'm like, mm. Man, sit down somewhere, okay? Sit down somewhere. So, I'm my fan. So, Jacob finally talked to Charity. You know, because, again, he's been holding on to this secret that I knew it was you kissing Phil Dumas in the church, okay? And he like, what's wrong with you, Charity? She's like, what? what? What did you talk about, Jacob? I saw you. I saw you and Phil kissing in the mouth, okay? I was getting my stuff from church after they fired me, and I saw you kissing that man in the mouth or whatever. So it got to be one of four reasons that that happened. She's like, what? okay, what's the reasons? I'm like, you're not going to ask her whether you're going to give her reasons so she can say, it's that one, because that's what Charity would do. He said, well, one, he's using you. Oh, Jacob, really? That's just an insult. He is using you, Charity. He has been from the get-go, okay? But you don't get it because you're blind to snakes. Anyway, then said, well, you know, either we must be in love with him. What's next, okay? Well, he forced himself on you and defeated that. I'm going to kick his ass. Jacob, no, okay? What's the last one? You trying to spy on him for the family. Okay, it's the last one. I'm looking like, no, no, it's not, Jacob. She's lying. Liar is what she's doing. He's like, you know, you lying, you tell you that's not true. What, what is it now? What is it? Fine, okay. I'm in love with him, okay? I am in love with him. You know, he's handsome, he's straight, he's godly. Let me have it, Jacob. Let me have a life with someone. I'm like, 
you sneaking with that man to, to bring on your family. You, 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 There's no righteousness in nothing that you're doing. If you was in love with that man, but you was not being backhanded and sneaking like a little, little, little snake, we would be fine with you like a feel. But y'all up to some BS all up and through God's house, okay? And then if they're arguing or whatever, Grace walks in. She's like, what is y'all arguing about? I'm like, yeah, tell Grace, tell Grace. Nothing. Right, Jacob? Yeah. Nothing. She once had a song. I don't like the song. So we, we, that's what we're talking about. Grace looking like... Whatever. So, the fact that Jacob doesn't even... Or didn't even suggest... Is you... Is you sneaking with behind that man to underhand us? Like, I would ask that question solely because... Charity is crazy. <laughs> and she's always done things that kind of does not make sense. So, I would not put it past her to do something sneaky and under that would have been an option okay before i would have told charity i would have told grace and like we got to keep an eye on charity because think about this if y'all if he didn't say that let me stop and get ahead, get ahead of myself anyway charity then rushes to church because again she felt like you know grace don't know jacob no but jacob thinks i'm in love with him or whatever let me go to make sure that he has not sent off that that, that audio of grace that been in the land to the police yet okay had you sent it off yet? He's like, no, what's going on, what's going on? Okay, you can't, you can't send it because, you know, Jacob knows about us or whatever. And if you send it and then, you know, Grace gets fired and it's because of this thing, they'll know it came from me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that right now. He's like, well, look, you always knew that eventually that, you know, this would become an issue. Like, they would eventually try to, you know what I'm saying, figure out what's going on or whatever. It, it came an issue today, not today, but if you're not today or whatever, you're like, you know what? I'll give you 24 hours, you know what I'm saying, to decide what you really want to do, whatever, because I can't force you to do this, okay? I don't want to force you to do this situation, okay? And, you know, because I don't want you, because he said, even if I don't know what I'll do if we don't do this, because if we don't do this, I have no plan on how I'll get to church or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He said, I want you to keep your trust in love, okay? Because, you know what I'm saying, you need to trust in love, Jerry. Are you sure, Phil Dumas? Yes, you know, for better or for worse. I'm looking like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? He kisses her. I'm looking like, Ugh. Charity, you know, girl, you can't be that horny. Because I feel like she's, just, she's attracted to him. And because she wants the D, okay, she listens to his lies. His serpent's lies, if you ask me. Girl, he is playing you like a fiddle. Any True true love can't come from lies and deceit. True love can't come from secrets and underhandedness. It just can't. Not in God's house, not in anybody's house. Not not in your house, my house, or anyone else's livelihood. Oh, foolishness. Any, girl, I was like, bye. We have this scene with Zora. Zora, y'all don't like that basketball boy who had a girlfriend. So he, she don't like the boy no more. <clears throat> but it seems Zora and the girlfriend is kind of cool. So the girlfriend over there... I can't believe he would be acting all crazy. You know, he just made all star teams. Why would he do that? When, 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 when? I'm gonna say because he did this, he did that. Girl, and Zora kind of not listening too much. She's like, uh, she's, would well, she look through the Bible? She was doing something else and not paying the girl too, too much attention. The girl gets upset. Why are you, oh, you not listen to me? She's like, look, I heard you a little bit, whatever, but I'm trying to find the scripture because my aunt is going through some things or whatever, and it's something to enlighten her. And the friend goes, oh, you know what? I'll leave, you know. Talk to Jesus, and then she leaves. I'm like, first of all, you don't even know Zora that much, and if this is a big issue, you're like, why you don't have no other friends? None. Okay, and the thing about it was, the friend that don't Zora then went talk to Bishop and brought up how you know she can I be friends with and care for people who don't see my my thought process and like you know they don't follow what I follow. Cause Zora, because she's going to Bible study, she's really back into the word okay she's back into the word you know and grandma told me that anyone who doesn't believe is going to hell so like should i still be friends with with, with um my cousin sophia should i still be friends with this girl who keeps complaining about whatever and bitch you know what patience you know be patient and things will work out i said well okay that's that's really easy and then old girl come back and then Zora said, you want to live here? Because the dude didn't kick the old girl out because she complained and gave him an ultimatum on what he should do. And he said, girl, bye, get out of my house. So I guess now she homeless or whatever, and she going to move in there with Zora. I'm looking like, how does Zora invite people to stay on the grounds? She don't own that place. 
what if that girl is a whole thief? What if she's a what if she's a plant from Hope and Harmony? But I guess so, girl. I guess it is what it is. But at least Zora is not out here, you know, running away and you know being with crazy boys. She's kind of stable, if you ask me. I just upload a bad Hawaii, so I make sure that it doesn't get flagged. Oh, it's only been there for like ten minutes. And somebody already don't like it. Gotta love the dislikes. Anyway, we then see Grace. And she's talking to a man who owns a bit of land near the church, like a little parking lot or whatever. And, you know, she wanted to kind of use it for overflow parking for the church. But he like, you know what, I can't, you know, let you use I can't give it to you because someone bought the land. It's like, really? Like, it's not that much land, though. He's like, I know. And they paid top dollar for whatever. And it's out to call me one day and ask to buy it. And she was like, oh, hmm, okay. And he said, well, I have the car, you know what I'm saying, for... It's the same people who bought Jake and Carissa's land, okay? And so, but Grace, now Grace don't know who bought, you know, Carissa and Jacob's stuff, whatever. All she know is this card for these people is who bought this man's land close to the church, and she's going to figure things out. Now, she don't know, because we know, because we see the card, we see the name, okay? It's the same folk. Anyway, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Now, we do see Jacob go to field, okay, because he is the big brother, or I don't know if he's the oldest or the youngest, but he is the brother of Charity. He's like, look, you know what I'm saying? Um, you need to make sure that you don't hurt my sister, okay, because I ain't got time for it. I will beat your ass, okay? Let me be clear in what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? And then feel like, you know, I have no plan to hurt Charity. He's like, you need to get a plan together to not hurt her. Like, don't say, you know what I'm saying? I don't have, you know, your plan you should, have, you should have a plan. You should have a plan to not actively hurt my sister. You know what I'm saying? She's had horrible luck with me. In. I know. She told me about Kevin. Kevin and Jabari and a host of others. I said, Charity, a whole, a host of others. How many more others? Okay. I'm not, but Charity seemed like she's had trouble with me because I feel like Charity picked Kevin because Kevin seemed great. And Kevin picked Grace because she, Grace for Charity because Charity seemed like she needed someone to just be there, okay? And again, she's had horrible luck or whatever. So, when Jacob said, you know what, I want you to know that if you hurt her, you know, it's going to be hell to pay because you do know you had to answer to me and God because don't forget how it says whatsoever you do to the little ones, and yeah, 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 you know, in this case, my sister is the little one, okay? And, you know, don't play Okay, because the penalty for that shit is fierce. I said, come through. Jacob is a protector of his sisters, okay? Even though Charity is bad, she crazy, she wrong. He is a protector of her sisters. It feels like, look, I told you I won't hurt her. I feel like Phil could possibly like Charity, but it ain't going to work out. Period. Okay, we then see Carissa. Carissa is meeting with a Latin or white, I don't know what it is, lover. Okay, she's going to see Lover Man, Mr. Lover Man, Shabba, you know, at his office. And I'm like, girl, you don't go back, you do not go back to the scene of a crime, but she did. So, you know, she's talking about how amazing the Greenleaf estate is. Oh, it's so beautiful. When I first moved here or whatever, when I first got with my husband, I always assumed or thought about, you know, us, you know, me inheriting it, you know, with through marriage with Jacob, you know, we would inherit the house. And I'm like, really? Really? You want the house? Okay. Carissa married Jacob. We can see it clear as day. She married Jacob for what he had. She wanted that life. It was less about love and more about what he can give her financially or just, you know, whatever. And that's the reason why when he, because he hasn't lived up to what she expected, that's why she's so unhappy. Because she didn't really want to be with him. She wanted the status of being with a green leaf. And I'm like, girl, anyway, the man then say, well, you know, about in here in the house, like if, if, if May and them die, who gets the house? Like, which, she's like, I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to kill her. I don't know. I don't know. He said, well, you probably should find out. I'm looking like any time a stranger asks you, and that man is still a stranger, even though he's been up her guts, any time a stranger asks you who inherits the house when your in-laws die, should raise some flags. Okay? And I feel like even if they don't have a will, Carissa, 
you would be the last one to get it. Grace would be first, and Jacob would be second. And I feel like by the time that May and pass, uh, a Bishop passes on, you and Jacob would no longer be married, and you'll be out of the house. I cannot wait for Jacob to break up with Carissa, get with Tasha Skanks, and be happy. And Chris would be down low and destitute somewhere in the, in, the, in the wine cellar with that white man. Or whatever race he is. I don't know. Anyway, but I'm like, who asked that kind of question? Not me. So, he then get up and say, you know, I got a room at the hotel. I told you, we can't do that anymore. And he kisses her. And, oh, well, you know, I just, you know, this what it is. She go from that to we can't do that no more. To saying, you know, tell me you can't wait. Until they get, you can't wait to get to the hotel. Like, tell me you want to take me now. Like, you did laugh down. So, you rather have sex on that man's couch in the office than at that nice hotel. You little scoundrel, you. Okay? So, he sends his assistant home. And he and Carissa then, I guess, so we didn't see it. But they do the nasty in his office again. I say, mm, mm, mm. Now, she's getting just as bad as Jacob. They should just divorce. Anyway, as she's leaving the scene of the crime, Grace walks up. Oh, Carissa, what are you, oh, Grace, what are you, what are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just signing some papers. You know, we, this is who, you know, bought our land. What? This is who bought your land? Yes. What is wrong with you? We can do what we want with our land. And she leaves. Girl, fix your shirt. Okay, fix your shirt. It, and Grace, <laughs> girl, so Grace go in there or whatever, and she's asking them, um, I, I, I'm still here. Grace went in to talk to the guy whatever, and she was asking him about just telling her why they bought the land in the church and what they plan to do with it. Well, I don't have to give you that information. And we're not, I'm at a liberty to do that right now. But when we are able to give a, 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 a more information, I will let you know. We will be in touch Soon, I say. First of all, the fact that his office don't smell like Budisi means Carissa must be dry, okay? Cause how y'all just did it in there, and Grace didn't smell sex. Anytime someone has sex somewhere right after, it smells like sex. Anyway, so I don't have time for that. You know, AJ goes back to Sophia, okay, with his cigarettes or whatever. But he walks in, he's upset because she has the pills in her hand, okay? <sighs> you lied. You had my life. I cannot believe you. Why go through my bag? I was trying to give you money because you wouldn't accept it. I was trying to hide it in your bag, okay? That's why. But why would you lie? You lied. You had her lie. I cannot believe you did this. Why not? You don't know that, man. People have to understand blood don't make you family. It makes you related, okay? And you can't say what he did surprise you. You don't know him. He was in prison, okay? He's done things to survive. So you can't be surprised he did some. I don't think he's still going to sell him. I think, I, I do think he's probably sick or whatever, okay, fine. He's probably sick and that's what he's, he's taking him for. Because my thing is, did she read what the pills were? As long as they're not pain pills, you know, they could be just medication um, or whatever, but girl, it is what it is. But again, she's upset. He like, you know what? I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? It was her choice to lie. You know, she had a choice and she made her choice. No, she didn't. You know, because you she gonna lie because you're her child. She's gonna believe you. And she's like, you know, you have to stop just out here running into you know brick walls as if that's all you know how to do. You can't expect your life to get better if you don't want it to be better. Like you can't keep fucking up on purpose. Whatever. He leaves because he don't really care whatever. Because they was going back and forth or whatever, but AJ isn't a bad apple. He's the apple that hasn't grown yet. And he don't know no better. And he just keeps pushing people away because he felt like, you don't care about if I push them away, the bad things I do, it won't I don't have to look at them in the face and admit my bad faults. And and I feel like Grace can't judge me because she gave me up for adoption. But she made a choice. And now he's trying to be around you, but you've been an asshole. But I'm like, whatever. Anyway, so, um, <sighs> when Grace leaves the Carissa's lover's office, you know, she wants to find out who really is this realty company, whatever. Who is, um, a City on the Hill Realty. She goes to Aaron, her brother Aaron. He I need you to figure out who these people is. He you know, does some digging or whatever. He like, oh, here it is. They're owned by Hope and Harmony. So Grace now knows 
Hope and Harmony is buying property that surrounds Calvary. And why would they do that? Because they're trying to do something. They're going to probably try to tear it down and make a, sh a, sh a shopping mall. I don't know. So, May go to talk to Velda. No, v excuse me, Vita. The girl who, who Mac, you know, was messing with and everything. And, you know, she points out how I was going to talk to you about the whole reason I started the fun. You know, I need you to know what I what I what my, my process was. You know what I'm saying? I did it to give women hope to gain self-esteem and confidence, you know what I'm saying, to just be better, you know, that they were worth something or whatever, you know. And when I found out what Mac was doing, I was devastated. It was it was devastating news to me, but, you know, I really, I never knew. I did not know, you know. And we like, you know, how did you not know? Like, how did you not see? Like, you know, and why would you make this program if you had no reason to do it? You know what I'm saying? And then the mama say, unless you have a reason, May. And then May say, I felt like she wanted to exhale like that forever, okay? And then she admits, my father did to me what Matt did to you. You know, and for, you know, it is it made me shut down. Like, I didn't see nothing. I just shut down for years. I was closed off to everything, you know what I'm saying? And I just couldn't see it, okay? It wasn't until faith died that I was able to see things. And I started to see things. And I just, you know, because I had been blocking everything out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so, so she was like, I'm so sorry. So she was crying for herself, for the girl, the girl crying, the mama crying, girl, it's a whole cry session or whatever. And then, you know, she's like, you know, Vita then said, you know, you need to come with me to this, to, to this board me. She's like, no, they don't want me here there. I know. It ain't about that, okay? It ain't about what they want. It's about, you know, they need to hear what you have to say. Oh, no, I have to go out the lead. No, 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 no. You know, May, you, she listened to you. Now you need to listen to her. Come on, let's go. And they kind of held hand in hand or whatever, you know, arm in arm, you know, as a trio. Of, of power, and they go to the meeting again. You know, because I think the thing is, while people think May knew, they don't know the reason May didn't know. Because she didn't want to see nothing because of what she had been through as a kid. Well, her father died for who knows how long, which also explains what Mac did. You know, girl, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So Grace gets home and tells Jacob how City on the Hill is owned by Hope and Harmony. And why did you sell the Hope and Harmony? He's like, what are you... What are you talking about? What? No. He, she's like, that's who owns the company. He's like, oh. well, how did you know that? I saw Carissa at the man's office. Why was she there? You asked your wife why she was there. I just know what is going on. So she's freaking out. Like, I'm trying to say the church. I'm trying to say this family. I'm trying to do all these things. And something is sinking, okay? I just need help doing all this stuff, okay? And so she then says, is that the real reason that you and Carissa Carissa, that you and Sherry was arguing earlier because she knew that you sold the property to Hope and Harmony. And she, yes, that's the reason. Right, Jacob? Right? And Jacob like, no. <laughs> I didn't know. I just found out just right now. We was arguing about her, about Charity. Okay, what's ha what's going on? What's happening? She kissing Phil. She like Phil. She fucking with Phil. And she like, what? So now the cat's out the bag, okay? I'm like, Lord Jesus. This point in time, they are arguing. Back and forth, back, back. This fuss and fuss and fuss and fuss and fuss and And Bishop come in. What, what is wrong with y'all? Come, your mama will be here any moment. What, you, you can't be doing this. Now, he didn't hear any of the argument. I feel like if he did, if he knew that she was supposed to feel, he would have been upset, okay? But as he walks in, I mean, like 10 seconds later, then Ian walks back. And May looks drained. And she looks around. I don't even want to know. And she just walks away. See what y'all did. See what y'all did. Oh, God. So then Bishop walks away. Then Charity, oh, I can't believe y'all. Then Charity walks away. And Grace tells Jacob that every piece of land that surrounds the church is now owned by Hope and Harmony. And they don't know why. He's like, what is going on? Ask your wife. Ask her. She knows something. Because she do. She absolutely freaking knows. So Bishop goes to find May. And May is in the air, her closet on the floor, just chilling, just sitting, just resting on the floor, her closet. You know, 
so much going on today. And he like, she's like, yeah, he's like, so where was you at? I was at church in the meeting, but that's near it. Neither here nor there. You know, I know what you was going to propose today. Oh, what one of them scoundrel children told you what was going on? Not none of them. This is my, in my intuition. No, your ears. Your ear, girl, your ears dropping. So, he sit down on the floor as well. And she say, you know, it's just been so much going on today. And, you know, he said, well, I guess today isn't the day to ask the question. She said, no, today's the day to answer. You know, it's so going to go ahead and ask what you're going to ask. He then say, May, I would trade a million years at the foot of God's heavenly choir. I said, well, that's nice. What does it mean? It must be a scripture. I don't know. Okay. And so she said, oh, oh, James. Yes, James. Yes. Oh, May. And they hug. I'm like, oh, I have wanted May and Bishop to get back to this place forever. Now, see, this, you know, I just, girl, mm. And it is hugged on the closet floor as a couple. So Jacob gets home and he sees Carissa in the bed and their son is in the bed too. He likes to, what he doing in here? Like, oh, he had another nightmare. What's going on? I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to sleep in his room, you know, because he already in here. Uh, I love you, Jacob. And he was like, I love you too. And he walks out. But he goes and sit in the living room or whatever. And he just sitting there thinking like something. Something is up, and I don't know what. But he know that something is up. Now, Charity goes to Phil. And, you know, asks, you know, why didn't you tell me that Hope of Harmony was buying up all the land around around the church, buying around Calvary, you know what I'm saying? Aren't you supposed to be by right-hand man? I didn't know that. What? What are you talking about? They bought up all the properties around. You didn't know? I didn't know at all, and I thought I was his right-hand man. I thought I was. Mm-mm. He using you like he using everybody else. Mm -hmm. A stick in the grass. We then see that Sophia comes to see Grace at the church. Sophia? What's, what's wrong, honey? I want to come here and just tell you in person, okay? I want to tell you, you know what I'm saying? So, AJ came to me. He was at my school or whatever. You know, he came, but he already left. Okay, He came yesterday whatever. You know, but I wanted to come here to tell you that, you know what I'm saying, I want to be here when you find this out. She's like, when I found what out? I found a bunch of pills in his backpack. Mom, he's guilty. He did it. Yes, he did. Point blank, period. Okay, and that was the whole episode. I like it. I don't know what this whole Zora and that girl thing is going. I don't really care too much either. But, I mean, the episodes are still good. I think it's like two. Well, this is episode what? This episode sounds like three episodes left. And I can't wait. Anyway, it is 3 a.m. I'm going to bed. 